first, um, I'm gonna reprogram this remote because I gotta keep recommending the FLIRK, motherfuckers, right there, the little infrared thing that you could just use any remote control to control your computer. There's the software. I'm gonna tell it I want next track to be right angle. And I'm gonna tell it last track to be left angle, which I don't believe do anything on this thing. It's important that you track to make sure those buttons aren't being used. So I could just, well, I pointed. Okay, we can close the software now, by the way. I didn't put a pause, but I mean, I still just. I did not fuck my way up to the top. If anything, I fucked my way to the bottom. Um, this is the Sabaj A10A. It's a terrible name. I know, I know. Fleric linked in the description, so you could use any remote control. Change the fucking tracks. You watch this. Boom. This one can do it. And this one can do it. Actually, this one can pause, too. Um, anyway, here's your remote control for the Sabaj. Look like an SMSL, because it fuck it does. Um... This is a very basic Infineon chipped speaker amp. And I've got a couple Infineon speaker amps here before. And the Infineon is the German driver units that they use. And so this is Chinese. Obviously, everything's SMSL is Chinese, Sabash is Chinese, topping, whatever. But China's very, very big on importing things. They love, they love their BMWs and their Mercedes. That's why BMWs look like shit now. Because the Chinese want those giant grills. And like, I don't want those giant grills. I want small, sleek, slim. No, giant fucking big grills. Because that's what Chinese want. Um, but they like importing things. So, Sabaj, in order to compete with other companies, that are, uh, Sabaj or SMSL, whoever you want to talk about, are now importing German driver units for these. And I had it in the SMSL D8, D-A-8-S and the um, SA300 were the two previous amplifiers that came out that have Infineon speaker drivers or, or driver amplifier units. And uh, I think maybe the Lox J30, the mythical Lox J30 also uses that um, because those units all sound fucking phenomenal. Like that vintage Japanese, you know, Pioneer 130 watts per channel probably sounds better than the Infineon German drivers a little bit but it's it's ridiculously nice sounding i mean we we could literally just shuffle oh god all the classics Um, I want to point out that these Yamo uh, C103s are not producing all the low end right now i have one of my uh Martin Logan Dynamo 300s plugged in to the subwoofer out of this unit, which is what makes this unit unique. Um, there's a couple of things that make this unit unique compared to the ones I just listed. Because it is an Infineon. I think it's 80 watts a channel, 8 ohm, 4 ohm. So slightly lower wattage a channel for 8 ohm. Um, I've had, I'm at negative 26 decibels. So this will go to zero. So I can gain 26 more decibels. I wouldn't, because... We up there right now, boys and girls. We are we are up there right now. Let's take a look at the unit. It's a black box. It's got little black feet. It's got a very, very easily dirtyable uh, glass fascia with the ugliest fucking worst display. We'll get to it. It's bad. It's fucking bad. It's bad. In fact, I should go over to my desk. You know what? I'm going to link it in the description anyway. Um... There's going to be in the description, it's it's called taillight repair, and it's a little plastic red sheet that's adhesive, so your, your taillight breaks, you peel it off, and you put it on your taillight, so your taillight is now a sealed plastic red thing. Well, you can get that, and you can cut it into little squares, and you can just stick it on things that are fucking blue, and make them purple, so let's just do that. So anyway, you've got a, the ugliest display on the face of the fucking earth, in just big blue ass letters. You got the same knob you get on every SMSL. You hold the button down, it becomes standby light red. Just like, actually, I, I just fucking unplugged that Pioneer to plug in the subwoofer because I ran out of plugs. My rolling rack thing is out of plugs already. I guess I could have plugged it in the front. But, um, yeah, standby lights like from the 90s. I fucking love it. Bring it back, everybody. Bring back the stand. Oh, wait a second. I just realized this is going to be completely the wrong color, isn't it? Oh, it's very washed out. All right, go be a second. Is that better? 
I went from 5,500 white balance to 3,200 white balance, because 5,500 works under that crazy light I have, but under these these fake halogens, because they're LED, 3,200 is better. So I just gotta either buy another fucking GoPro and leave it just here, or buy another one of those lights, or whatever the fuck I gotta do. Anyway, um, what I was saying, glass, ugly, uh, knob, the same, like these standby, it says Sabaj. I'm not a fucking huge fan of like, like I like SMSL. Sankas doesn't even say what it is, it's just a picture of a flower. But it's like these, I don't necessarily hate the Sabaj logo, it's just the word Sabaj. Like that's not a fancy word. Maybe in Bangladesh it's like, do you own a Sabaj? But I cannot deny the fucking greatness of this amplifier. So let's put this back on. It says A10A. It shows me the, the, the negative 30 decibels. You can um, press that to get into the different modes, which are literally cryptic because it... Uh, it's only it's a $140 unit, right? $135 or $140 right now on Amazon. So it's not like an expensive unit. And honestly, if I could choose a nice interface or better sound quality, I'm 80% of the time I'm gonna go better sound quality. Just 80%, not 100%, 80%, let's be realistic. Sometimes the interface is more important than you know that like 10% more sound quality. But here, sitting at this desk, I'm gonna vote sound quality. Um, let's look at the back of this fucking beast. Uh, main power switch, so you have power, you have soft off with the remote or with holding down the button, or a main power breaker, which is giant. You get your power plug in, no transformer, another fucking reason to love this unit. No transformer, I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate Put the fucking 110 shit in here. Make the box bigger. This is obviously bigger than the other uh, uh, Infineon amps I've used. And you get to plug the fucking power cord straight into it. So, I don't know. See, I do this all day. And to you, I might be like, I don't care, Zeos. I fucking care. Power straight in. Me likey. Zeos likey. Um, you get your four uh, five of binding posts, small ones. They could have probably fit large size fiber binding posts on here because it's not that small a box, but I'm okay with it. Um, there is a weird piece of plastic here, which looks, I thought it might have been a door for like going in for Bluetooth, but I don't know. They, they covered something. Let's uncover it together. Ow, this is really good plastic sheeting. What are they, what, what are they hiding from me? Oh, interesting. So they literally covered three extra holes in the unit. What were they going to do with those? I wonder what they were going to do with those. Interesting. See, I like this is one of those things it's like, oh, we were going to, but now we're not going to. So just cover it with it's actually really nice metal foil, like black tape. Okay, but then the only, the, yeah. Then, however, what you have here is left in, right in, and subwoofer out. RCAs. That's that's it. Here, look, and they're all black, like the old Japanese stuff. Didn't actually label anything with colors. They just put LR and R in. Oh, by the way, these are the SKW RCAs that I really don't like using because they're so fucking stiff, but they're so well built. So I'll link these, even though I prefer. The world's best cables. I just had these plugged into the what DAC are we feeding this with? SMSL SU9 down there. So the SU9, hi Marie. SMSL SU9 is feeding this uh, right into the top. We've got this wire is to the subwoofer. We'll unplug that for a second and leave it right there. I guess I'll cover my little my little holes. Black out my holes again. So now we adjust our volume. Um, Remote control, power, standby, power, on, instantly. Mute. Here's the weird fucking thing. Are you ready for the weirdest fucking thing? Let me change tracks. That's so muted, hold on. See, the thing about amplifiers is you don't get a sound demo. So you have to just take my fucking word for it that Infineon drivers are fucking tits. German tits. Just look up German tits on Google and you will see a picture of anything with an Infineon driver. Um, 
here's my, I was, I was upset and, and confused and aroused. Why the fuck, and I don't know if you could see this, I hope you could see this, why the fuck is the mute, like it literally says mute in the corner there, and it's white, like a nice calm, like almost purpley white. Why is the rest of it blue? If it was all that color, I could almost get around how shitty it looks. But anyway, so there's your mute. You got a, you got a mute indicator on this next track because we programmed our... I want to sell more flirts. It's a thing that everyone needs to use and not everyone has it. And you could just... It's so convenient because you could like program any keyboard combination too. Like, like, like all control delete. Let's do that. Or um, what's the one to delete all your system files? Just program that into a random person's remote control. It'll be great. Don't even tell me put a flirk on there. Mute. Um, so mute, uh, up and down is volume, which apparently unmutes, which is not my favorite thing. I kind of, I'm okay if hitting volume up unmutes, and then if volume down just brings the volume down while muted, because that's like why you hit the mute button. You hit the mute button in an emergency. Someone's talking to you and it's like, what? And okay. And then maybe the music was too loud. Oh, my music's too loud. Hold on. But then you got to lower it. And it comes back on in the full volume, and then you have to lower it through there. So, mute behavior is one of those things. I'm pretty sure there's a perfect way to do it, and that is not it. Um, or just mute and let me lower and raise the volume, and then let me unmute it. Uh, the center push is for our different options, which we'll go through in a fucking second. Uh, inputs. Nothing, because there's no inputs. Function. Nothing, because there's no function. Uh, a, B, C. Uh, a, I believe, is the one you have to press. If you press B or C... It no longer functions because it's for other units. This is actually one in a series of three units. You're going to be able to get a Sabaj stack, motherfuckers. The A10 Warthog stack. Because this is the A10A. There's an A10D and an A10G. Hold on. I had it up here for a second. Yeah, the A10A is this. $135.99. Then there's the D and the H. I have the A10H, which is a headphone amplifier, straight headphone amplifier. And if you go looking for the, there it is, that thing, which is 120 bucks, which is the same fucking ugly display. Um, but the DAC is not out yet, and I don't have a, 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 I don't have a copy of the DAC. So I can only make a headphone amp, speaker amp stack. I can't test them all. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the, I haven't tested the amplifier yet, the headphone amplifier. I've tested this amplifier. I'm kind I'm, kind of hoping it has as much it impresses me as much as this fucking little thing does because this thing is great so you have an entire bottom here which doesn't do shit in fact that'll allow you let's just bring back up the FLIRC controller hold on FLIRC controller um you can unmute this actually it is unmuted it's just really quiet controllers let's go to media keys play pause we'll make that function it's sexually recorded. And we could do something else, which is full keyboard. Do I want to do delete? No, not really. Escape. I'm like escape that key. Okay. Close this down. Now I can play pause because these buttons don't do anything. You can't control A, B, and C. Those are switch internally what it's using as far as frequencies. But yeah, no. Power works. Mute works. Uh, up and down works. The center button works. But none of these matter. Really? So you could reassign these two to be... What does escape do? Oh, it literally just escapes off the window. Um, again, I'm going to sell more flirks than I'm going to sell amps. I don't like where the high-res audio sticker is on this. I don't like high-res audio stickers in general. They don't mean anything. Like, whatever consortium is like, oh, don't you want to be certified high-res? And it's like, well, doesn't that mean it just makes sound and isn't completely a distorted pile of shit? Yes. Okay. Yeah, high res audio sticker on my desk because my desk is obviously doesn't make anything sound like shit. So I'll put that right there. Much cleaner now. I should have put it right over the fucking numbers. Um, so without the subwoofer, the unit, it, these speakers are, put it this way, these are still the speakers I reviewed. And if I put them up, which is this. Little girl, little girl, you're so cute. Bobby Rush, Chicken Heads. Okay, 
I'm going to get... I, by the way, thank you for supporting this channel. Where's my pause button? Thank you for supporting this channel, because when I do play music like this, just like an asshole, um, a lot of times it's like, by the way, you can't monetize your video anymore. And I'm like, eh. The 85 cents that I would have made the day of release, because I curse and say, fuck. So I don't actually post me to a lot of advertisers anyway. But I don't care, because I'd rather have patrons who enjoy me saying, fuck, than uh, 85 cents from Google. This is the Demolition Man OST, and apparently Sting made custom songs for this? Sting! Made Demolition Man songs. Like, I don't know why they're in flack on my computer, but I have them. Um... Postmodern jukebox. So they sound it sounds phenomenal. It sounds just like all the other Infineon powered German driver speaker amps. It's like, holy shit, how does it sound so good? For so small and so cheap and no heat. And so that's it. I've done selling you this amplifier. The benefit of this particular amplifier is the fact it gives you a motherfucking subwoofer out, which is not like perfect. I did that whole video explaining how I hooked up the mini DSP Nano Digi and I had to have multiple DACs and I had to control it. Again, programming a remote to do a thing and then doing the cutoff because the subwoofer out on this is just a summed mono of what's playing with a low pass filter. So in an ideal world, if I have a subwoofer, which I do down there, these speakers would no longer attempt to even play low frequencies. You know, anything below 50 hertz would just be like, nah, I don't need to bother because we have a sub. This unit does not do that. This unit will only send low frequencies down there, and I still have an adjustment on the subwoofer to, you know, tweak it. But the speakers don't know that there's a sub. So you're going to have to hook this up and then go tweak your, um, your subwoofer to sort of blend it in. One of the benefits of it cutting off bass in the drivers is that you could add more volume because the drivers are no longer trying to do this. So when they're only doing this, you could push it louder. Um, so you don't get that benefit. But you do get to add a sub regardless of that. And you could feel it, especially down here, especially with that little Martin Logan, which is only an eight inch sub. Um, Earth, the oldest computer by Childish Gambino. This is gonna definitely get me like. Like it's trying, it's like, but it's not. It's not a subwoofer. When you have a dedicated subwoofer, and it's just, it's just a completely different experience. Oh God. Why does it? Why does it break up at the beginning of that song? Is that in the song, or is that my setup being fucking weird? Could be my setup being fucking weird. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Um. Yeah, I know. Because it's very, 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 very difficult to usually just add a subwoofer. You'd have to get like the, um, I'll link it in the description, the Emotiva SE12 subwoofer, which has the RCA inputs and the RCA outputs. And then you'd have to get your source, your DAC, to run through the sub. And then that will then cut off the frequencies going up, which is the proper way to do it. But then to control the sub volume to match the amp, the amp's volume can no longer be touched and you gotta control the source, which would then be the DAC. So I could do it because I have a fucking SMS LSU8 as a remote. And then this would just be set and the sub will be set and then you control it earlier on in the, in the stage back before before anything else, you control it as early as possible. There's also on the SE12 the ability to run speaker wires through it, or at least this is in and out, or just in, and then you have to split it. It has speaker wire terminals. Any subwoofer, any powered subwoofer that has its own power plug for the wall, that has speaker wire terminals, 
you can set up a little bit easier because you set up your, your normal amplifier to your normal speakers and then you either get a splitter or you open up the five way here and, and you have to put a small wire because you're not powering the sub you're just telling it what to do just put another wire out of these and go down to the subwoofer and then now the sub knows what to do and you're controlling the volume here so that's a little bit better way to integrate um or you buy this amplifier you got a single rca cable you plug it into any fucking subwoofer on the face of the earth and you're done the end because the speaker wire thing won't do the cutoff of the speakers. Only the RCA pass through that makes you required to, to, to control the volume from the source will do the thing where it cuts off. So there's one very specific that that subwoofer for the SE12 and the S8, SE8 are very niche in the fact that you can do it, but you gotta you gotta be controlling it earlier down the line. Um, so if you had just a controllable DAC like the Sonkaz there. Sonkaz SGD1 linked in the description. You can then plug RCAs out of that into the sub, out of the sub, into an amp, a fixed volume on the amp, you never touch it again, and then speakers are playing, and then your subwoofer you adjust to match it, and then you're good, you're golden, you adjust your volume on the Sonkaz. It's not that hard, it's not that difficult to grasp the concept of it. It's just that I know how beginner people are. Not stupid. Everyone's stupid. Babies, you could call the stupidest people on earth. Look at these fucking babies. They don't even understand calculus. You even understand the finite, the, the infrastructures. No, because it's a baby. You teach the baby and the baby learns. And you could be fucking 40 years old and have no idea about audio because no one taught you. You know, what were you worrying about for 40 years? I don't know, skateboard rules or Xbox games. There's audio. Welcome to audio. Hi, I'm Zeus. I will teach you like you are a dumb baby. And it's okay to be a dumb baby will bring you up. It's just I don't usually teach babies, but it's, it's I, actually, no, that's wrong. I usually teach babies all the time. If you want to add subwoofers, there's several ways to do it. This is the easiest. Buy an amplifier that has a subwoofer out because like you can get a surround receiver that has a subwoofer out and you could use the amplifiers in that, which are usually not very good, but at least that'll allow you to do the cutoff for the speakers so you can cut the speakers off so you can play them a little bit louder and you can add the sub, but the amplifiers are not that good. These these Infineon drivers sound better than most surround sound receivers. Okay? I know that's like a thing, but I've heard like you know, modern day, but I'm talking about bottom of the line, $350, $400 Yamahas, Denons, Mar Marantz, you might get away with like a stereo, like just pure stereo. A lot of the new ones are all 50 watts though. So these are, this is roughly a little bit. I love the way these things sound. I love the way this thing sounds, and it's butt dirt simple. I hate the screen, which we got to talk about the menu now. Okay, before I kill the battery, and I got to bring the book over here because we're about to hit the E's. We're about to hit some E, which it's like, oh my fucking god! It's what is this? One hundred and thirty-five dollars? I said one hundred thirty-six dollars. Make it one hundred and fifty, Sabaj, and add all the money, that extra money, to the screen because it would be so much nicer. I actually like the fact that it's a big, it's probably blown out of the camera. It's just, it's blue. It's a, it's it's not subtle though. It looks like it's ultraviolet. Like it looks like it's designed to sterilize things in front of it, but it's probably not as blue as it is in the camera because the camera freaks out. Um, all right, we'll go to the menu. E1. Like that fucking, the, that stuffed cat. It's like. So we bought the manual and apparently there's E1 through eight. And back to it. So E1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then back down to 1. And E1 is direct, and this is tone controls. Direct means it does nothing to the audio. Give me standard audio. E2 turns on the tone controls. And then E3 through 8 are different equalization curves. I don't like EQ curves. If your speakers suck, by all means, try to fix them with this. Put on super bass or dynamic bass. There's literally three basses. Third bass. Um, I mean, unplug the subwoofer. We'll see what these do. Uh, actually, I'm going to just keep getting pulled for Childish Gambino, aren't I? But I guess. It does have, like. Oh, I didn't do it that time. So that was stock. Let's see. Let's go now to dynamic bass, which is E3. Okay, this is now dynamic bass. Definitely more there. Okay, now E4 is just bass. So let's see what that does. That's a little bit more doing. I don't like that one as much. I don't like E4. Let's go to E5. 
super base. That's even. That's an even bigger doing. And by the way, these will pass through to the subwoofer, so don't don't put these base things on. And those are followed by rock soft and clear. So if you want to fuck around, you could do that. I recommend highly you put it on E1 and be done with it. No tone controls. By the way, when you hit that button again, you got a T, a terrible looking T, which is your tone, which is your um, treble and bass. T is treble. It goes from zero to nine or negative nine. And then B, lowercase B, because it's terrible, uh, plus or minus nine. So you can custom adjust. Don't. Don't. I mean, you, if you want to add like a touch more, you go to E2 and then you put the bass up to plus two or three, maybe. But uh, I mean, just add a subwoofer. So the last thing is BL, which is blueness. Let's make the blue. Actually, blue, blue one is dim. Blue two is bright. Blue three barely makes it any brighter, but it is definitely brighter. So you can make it as bright a blue as possible, and then we're back to the E's E1 through whatever. Oh, as soon as you adjust the trebler bass at all, it switches from E1 to E2. So go back and switch it back to E1, which is direct mode, which is don't fuck with the audio mode. I wish that was a subwoofer tweak. Instead, I wish this remote could get you into the menu, and you could be like, SB, you have zero, and then you could raise and lower the subwoofer with the remote. That'd be nice. Doesn't do that. So yeah, that's that's the extent that I needed this this book because you it doesn't. There's no way to know what E1 through eight are. There's just no way to know without the book. So for for reference, it's it's direct tone, dynamic bass, bass, super bass, rock, soft and clear. Um, I wouldn't fuck with that shit. It can't even read the A10. Like they just the fancy. It's not even the same fancy font. Wait, no, that A and that A are kind of the same, but that one's got way longer tail. <sighs> I like military stencil letters. Give me a fucking unit with military stencil letters. So anyway, I think I've taken up all of your day with this. Let's go to the next track. Heartbeat, another good song. I don't have to jump forward. I lost my subwoofer. All right, well, we're not, we're not putting my subwoofer on anymore because I dropped the wire. This means we're fucking done. That means this review is over. Kill it. Um... By a flare because it's super nice to control your. What the hell did I just do? Oh, I might have hit it. Yeah. I'll, if you hit B or C, your remote will stop functioning for everything. And you're just like, what's happening? Because you accidentally hit B or C and you have to hit, get, make sure it's in A mode. And there's no way to know it's in A mode. But once you do, then you can change tracks. And. The weekend starts It's so, f I, I know I just ranted for like 31 minutes about things and I sort of went like, sounds great. It fucking does, man. Like these Yamos desire a good amplifier and this provides. The dude abides these fucking Yamos. It sounds good. That's all to J M S. by the way, is the name of the song. It's so fucking finite and, and and just airy. That's the thing everyone talks about. Oh, I got a vintage class, blah, blah, blah. It sounds so airy. I'm sure if I hooked it up to this Pioneer VSX D1S from 1994 or six, and it's got the Japanese everything and the caps are probably a little bit warm, I'm sure it would sound as good. As good? More powerful for sure. But I will not knock this for existing because that exists in my life. This is more impressive. In fact, they accidentally sent me two of these, Sabaj. Not telling, I'm not sending one back, by the way. And I'm probably gonna permanently affix one of these motherfuckers into my surround sound over there because my side channels are passives. And I'm currently using the topping PA3 um, because I had a problem with my SMSL D8S, it was, it was doing weird distortion things. I got to double check. In fact, it's somewhere around here for testing. Um, I'm going to replace it with one of these. First of all, 
It won't have a fucking power brick, which I currently have the PA3. And the PA3, if you go back and watch my review of the PA3, the PA3 has a power brick the size of this amplifier for this little tiny silver amplifier. And I'm like, fuck you. So the fact that this is just going to plug in with a little, with a standard plug is fantastic. I'm going to plug in my amps. I'm going to plug in the RCAs. I'm going to set my volume. Another thing, the PA3 I'm using is an analog volume. So I don't know if I have it where it was yesterday. It's sort of there. This will be a number. It'll be 25. Done. And I know when I turn it on, oh, actually, I'll never, I'll never turn it off. It doesn't get hot enough or use enough power to turn it off. So this is going to be a permanent resident in my home theater. In fact, since I have two of them, my consideration is keep them both. And if I want to switch my back channels from the currently JBL LSR 305s to another set of passives, I'll just use another one of these. They will get loud enough. Like, do you understand how loud this shit can get? Oh God, that's loud. We are 18 decibels down still, and I'm kind of concerned about the safety of my speakers. I, I was liking it at like 20, 24, 25. I don't mind the, the knob either. It's a little, it's a very click, click, click knob. A little loose, a little loose feeling. It doesn't go every time you turn it either. It doesn't go like 24, 25. Sometimes 25, 25, 26, 27, 27, 20. It's fine, fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know if I'm just jerking off to the sound of these Yamos or jerking off to the sound of the Sabage A10A, which is again a terrible name, but it all flows beautifully. And that wallpaper with she's what gun is that? I've seen that gun. That's the um oh fuck. I played Counter-Strike for a little bit. What the hell is that gun? It's like the very straight handle and the very straight mag. You guys will yell at me in the comments. I kind of want one. It, it just is memorable gun. I think it's expensive as shit, though. So, yeah, no. Thank you, Sabaj, for sending me one of these or two of these by mistake. I'm, I would have rather had the DAC to do a combo because now I'm using the SU9 for this. But it, when the DAC comes in, I'll pull this out. I'll pull out the headphone amp. We'll do a big fucking to be this, this high. Actually, it'll probably be two smaller units and then this. I'm done. Uh, Patreon and subscribe star. Get to see these reviews early. This is still in stock right now, boys and girls. Mostly boys. Hey, look at it. Look. Price, $135.99. In stock. You know how fucking rare that is for a Z review? Just, just please, please be in stock when I fucking put this video public. That's all I ask. I like something. Please be in stock. I, you know how many reviews I haven't released as of this, as of today in the filming of this? I just keep taking reviews that I've done. I'm like, I can't wait for people to see this. Oh, they can't. It doesn't exist anymore. All oh, those Swan M M600s are amazing speak. Oh, I can't see it. Clear KPH 30s. No. Fuck. This is in stock. I like the stock. I like this unit. Ugly as sin fucking visual display. I told you, you buy that little red fucking plastic and you cut it out and you stick it on there. And all of a sudden, it's purple. I mean, I made it real bright. You're going to have to make it real bright to put that on there because it's going to dim the shit out of it. Uh, oh, if you want to try to use this in your living room, that makes it a little more difficult. It's not impossible. If you want to like put this up because you've got a remote, it's a speaker amp, it only has RCA inputs. So you could either find out if your TV has a headphone out and just get a three and a half millimeter RCA, which I'll link in the description, Zio, so three and a half millimeter RCA, or more likely a fiber optic output of your TV and a very basic DAC. I don't want to make you spend another $100. You can get a $30 DAC. I'll link a $30 DAC. In fact, it'll be labeled $30 DAC, and then there'll be a $100 DAC next to it, and both will work. I, I don't, the $30 DAC is like bare minimum, and these speakers sound too good. <laughs> To like fucking skimp on the, the all DACs sound the same, except when you're talking about a $30 DAC, then it sounds a little bit less great. Because these can sound fucking great. Dragula. I love techno 2013. Jerry Greenspan. Uh, God told me to. That's I'm gonna listen to that entire song. I'm gonna get my subwoofer back up first. Where the fuck did it go? Why does everything disappear from the entire world? Oh, it fell on top of the deck. Okay, that's where you're at. All right, I'm plugging this back in. I'm going to listen to this. You guys check out my 
um, Patreon and subscribe star. See your reviews early. Participate in yard sales, where I probably won't sell either one of these. But if Savage is game, I'll be like, send me like five of them so I can just throw them in the yard sale. Because people should own these. And if you can get them for like 80 bucks or, you know, 80 cents on the dollar, fucking great. And then you get to join my Patreon and see shit early and comment on videos early and all that good stuff. Um, you also get uh, the series early, participate in the yard sales, uh, free shipping content in the United States, one third shipping international, you have to pay. And then there's the $10 te cheat, yeah, the $10 patronage chat which is available on telegram through patreon or subscribe star which lets you go into a room and ask me questions directly which is at zeo spentera and i'm in there and answer it every it, 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 um uh so many things so many people ask me questions but yes i will answer your questions there um if you want to actually like hey zeo so i bought these speakers and i have this stack what the fuck is wrong with it and i'll be like hold on I don't actually type like this for that chat, but I just, I just talk into it. But yeah, no, I'm going to go back to listening to this. Check out that, check out Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum. Um, oh, download that wallpaper in the description, and I will see you all tomorrow for another review. Now I need more speakers to review, because this thing is baller.